the very first thing you want to do is you want to go download uh, VirtualBox. You want to download software called VirtualBox. You've probably heard of this if you know uh, a little bit about all of this virtual machine stuff. Basically, the website is virtualbox.org. I'll link it in the description just in case, right? So you want to go ahead and hit download VirtualBox 6.1, latest version. It doesn't really matter. VirtualBox is completely compatible. And you want to go ahead and click on Windows Host if you're on Windows or Linux if you are on Linux. But I assume most of us are on Windows. And if you're already on uh, Mac OS, then I mean, I don't know why you're going to do this, but I guess you can do it to run Windows. But we're going to go ahead and hit Windows Host and you want to download uh, VirtualBox and also go down and download uh, its extension right you want to go down here and you want to find where it says uh all supported platforms it will say here virtualbox 6.1.32 oracle extension pack here and you want to click on all supported platforms and download this as well basically it's just an extension pack and it will help you get a bit more compatibility it's not completely necessary you can skip this step but i do recommend it just for compatibility right once you're done downloading that you also want to download a uh the mac os catalina uh virtual image this i will link in the description uh the drive the drive link you want to go ahead click on this and uh then you want to hit download here right you want to download it it's about six gigs it's uh also it's in rar form so you will need either winrar or 7-zip to extract it right but basically you just download it and once you're you have both of these things downloaded that's pretty much it right that is all you're going to need that's the downloads out of the way you want to go ahead extract uh this virtual image wherever you want to out this on the desktop just extract it and get your VirtualBox and you're ready to go. So once you're with that, we're now gonna go on to our VirtualBox, right? As you can see, I already have uh, my Mac already made, but I'm gonna create a new one to walk you guys through it. So the very first thing you wanna do once you're onto your VirtualBox manager is you wanna click on preferences because first we wanna import our extension pack, right? In preferences, go to extensions. And as you can see, I already have it loaded but you can click on here. There'll be an option to add a new one and select the extension pack wherever you have saved it and click on OK, right? As you can see, my one is already active, the Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Once you see that, click on OK. That is the first part done. Now, to begin creating your very own Mac machine, click on this new icon here where uh, all of the options will be visible to you. Uh, now you'll start in guided mode, which is this, but you wanna go ahead and click on expert mode down here and you wanna name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Mac to something simple, you know, don't make it too complex. Type Mac OS X version, Mac OS X 64 bit. Um, give it half of the memory you have. Uh, that's what I suggest. If you have less than eight gigs of memory, I don't suggest you make a virtual machine in the first place because that's way too less. Go ahead, click on use an existing virtual hard disk file and select the file that you just extracted. From here, you could click on browse, click on add uh, in the pop-up that will show up and just select the disk that you need over here and it should be selected, right? That's pretty much it. Click, go ahead, hit create and uh, you can jump out back into your um, VMware, here we have it. Uh, we're gonna go back to our virtual box. Oh my gosh, that's, <laughs> what the heck is that, man? But yeah, we're back into our virtual box after we're done with playing with those settings. And once you're back into your virtual box, you wanna go ahead, click on settings. Again, uh, I'm gonna have to change the dialogue again so you can see the settings. Uh, here, here we are in our settings. Uh, I apologize for the weird placement. It's just OBS is stupid. But uh, in your settings, uh, uh, you can leave all this. This is just your name if you want to change it. In system, you want to go to processor and assign, again, half of the processors you have. If you have less than eight logical processors, don't make it. Your virtual machine is going to lag beyond, you know, beyond anything you can ever see, right? But you can change the base memory here as well. Give the processor i've given it eight since i have 16 logical processors in the display change it to 128 which is the max because i'm assuming that you have more than 128 mb of video memory i have four gigs so i can give it well into 128 right rest of everything you can keep it same uh in system uh in uh, system place in the motherboard also uncheck floppy disk because you don't want to boot from a floppy <laughs> go ahead click on okay and that's pretty much it you know 
that is all you're going to need to do for your virtual machine and we're ready to run it but don't click on that start button just yet because we still have a few commands to run right go ahead and uh come to your notepad file uh this i'm going to be posting all of these lines inside uh the description right all of these lines eight lines of code and there's also a password right here if you watch this far good job because now i'm going to give you the password to that raw file which i assume you did come across when you tried to extract it the password is intoguide.com this will be in the description it's also right over here but now you want to go ahead take each of the lines one at a time and put them into command prompt right uh you want to run command prompt as administrator just to show you guys uh, how it is let me just run as administrator and uh go ahead and show you guys here uh, this is our this is not thing this should be our command prompt there we are yeah in the command prompt you want to go ahead select those lines one at a time but before you select all those lines there's one very key thing that you need to do which you miss it will not work in the notepad you want to click on edit and click on replace the reason this is so important is because you need to replace my uh mac name with uh your virtual machine name right so the way you're going to go with that is you want to go ahead switch to your uh replace thing very tiny <laughs> look at it yeah it will say find what and replace with what this is basically by going to edit and replace so we're gonna find uh, mac to trial and you want to replace with whatever you've named it and we've currently named it as mac 2 right and you're going to replace all that is pretty much it right uh if you do that you're all set all you need to do is replace uh the name of my one with your one and now you just need to copy the code line by line and put it into your command prompt which here it is so i'm going to quickly uh, show you a couple of lines how to do it copy this one paste the very first line it won't give you anything as uh as a acknowledgement but it will do everything in the back right so you want to go ahead and do this uh, i suggest closing uh virtual box while you do this but you can restart it afterwards it works pretty much the same right but close it do this and now we're going to get to the other side okay so as you can see i have executed all of the lines and that's all you need to do go ahead close your command prompt and jump back into your vm virtual machine uh, also i would suggest closing uh your virtual machine box before uh you execute the lines like i'm just closing it just in case the lines don't end up working so if they don't work close it try it again and it should be completely fine but as you can see i've done it so i'm just going to go and click on exit uh you must have left your screen the screen is probably black now but we're going to hop back into it there it is again and we can now finally click on that beautiful start button to start up our mac right now to show you how the mac is looking right now i'm just give me a second i'll have to find it also the reason i changed the resolution uh if you read the last line in the command prompt i changed the resolution to 1920 uh, by 1080 which is an option line but you can play around with it to change the resolution according to your needs and here we have it here is our mac looks terrible right now i know but you need to be patient uh uh, the couple of things i want to show you here in the window is in the bottom right where it says right control this is your host key it's really important and uh, basically what it does is once your cursor is stuck into your virtual machine to get it out of there you need to click on that host key which currently is right control so that you can get your cursor back into your actual machine right that's pretty much all uh, the host key really does and that's pretty much it you know now your mac is going to do all the behind the uh, scene stuff on screen oh here we are <laughs> that was faster than i expected you can see my cursor as well over there the little black thing and here we have it uh since i've already logged in uh it's already accepted mine so i can just enter my password here we go We're, because uh the iso file was the same right the disk image vmdk file was it oh wait was it wrong oh no did i forget my password to my own mac what the heck no, no i don't think i did <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it you know uh on the first setup you will have to go through downloading uh your entire thing it's gonna take a little bit of time but you're gonna get through it right here we have it your brand new mac inside your windows computer absolutely insane and uh i, I honestly love it i mean it's just cool how you can just do this you know it's i hope you can see it right i'm just playing around a little bit with it <laughs> 
but it's really awesome. I mean, uh, I don't see why my icons are not showing up. It's a little bit slow, so I mean, that's a major drawback if you don't have a lot of RAM or a lot of uh, processors. Then I do suggest you don't really go for this. Uh, you could go for a Windows virtual machine as well. The reason that's really good is because you can run so many like alt account spammers in that for the dank meme or stuff as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The same thing applies for Windows. You just need to find a Windows file. And that is pretty much it. Windows is easier than Mac OS since Mac OS is comparatively more secure and uh, annoying. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your virtual machine. And if you did enjoy, do drop a like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And I'll catch you all later.